How you doing guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, if this is the first time you've landed on my page, thank you ever so much for stopping by. If you are a subscriber, thank you ever so much for subscribing. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am a Capture One affiliate, which gives me the unique privilege of being able to offer a 10% discount code. Um, so that code you use at checkout when purchasing any um, Capture One uh, softwares or any licensing sort of propositions. The code to use is all capitals A M B L U K E. So today the video I wanted to talk about a really unique feature that is not spoken about enough. So this feature is called quick proofing and what this basically allows me to do is rapidly export files which I can then use um, AirDrop from my Mac to my iPhone to be able to get really low res but, but good quality images, uh, really low sort of data size uh, files from my computer to my phone that like I can share very rapidly over things like WhatsApp which is kind of the demand for the modern day photographer to be able to get these images out as fast as possible and as we all know massive file sizes very much limit that so without any further ado I'm going to dive into it and show you where we are so if I go into Capture 111 so this is an image I shot of a DJ recently um, so this is Louis, we shot this in a place called CAF 1001 which is where they now have a residency as a set of artists. So there's a few things I'm going to do with this image before I export it. So first of all, as you can see all of these are customised to my preference. So this is you know, my, my folders, this accesses my camera, this gives me my lens correction and then we start going into things like colour and, and whatnot so we can use it to adjust the colour depending where we want it to go um, with the edit of the image. If we don't like anything, we just double tap the centre and it resets. So I'm not going to play with anything here today because I'm quite happy with how I got things in camera. What I am going to do is I'd make some slight adjustment in terms of the levelling of it. So only, only marginally. Uh, I'd probably say, yep, happy with that. Then what I'm going to do from there is I want to put a punch on the clarity. Just drag this slider up slightly. Then I want to just slowly drop the exposure. And the reason I want to do that is, as you can see, his face is give it two seconds to load through, and you can see the detail before. So you can see that you know because he's pale complexion, he starts to wash out. So if I had this where it was, you can see it loses a bit of contrast. So I'm just going to take that down slightly, bring my contrast up, and then what I'd like to do is just saturate it just a little bit, bring a bit of warmth into this young man's face. Cool. So from there, the next thing I want to do is I want to add a vignetting. So I'm going to take, let's just zoom back out, okay. uh, there we go, just to add mood and effect to the image, so in terms of light setup, over in this corner here I have a softbox firing down at an angle, just to light the young man here, and it's just all about adding mood and effect, we can quite clearly see the location. So in terms of the image, I'm pretty happy with that, you can see the parameters that we show it under here. Now. I would like to use this image across social media so in terms of being able to do that what I then do from here so I can click into here and I can go to export so I can export with variations but there's a thing to note first if you go into the settings up here and then into preferences at image here our preview image size we can take this up or we can take it down this has an impact in terms of the um, in terms of the export that we're going to use next. So I would, you can take this down as low as you want. I tend to keep it round about here, so it stays at around about two megabytes, which is going to be acceptable for most social media platforms and quite easy to transfer. You can even drop it down to here, which is absolutely fine. In fact, we want to keep it just there. It's worth bearing that in mind. Now, go back into here and I want to export this image, go to variants and the thing I'm looking for is I've got the option to export as a JPEG or I have quick proof which is a trademark, you know, this is a feature specific to phase one and capture one software which is, I, I highly rate it. So I click that, it's given me 
I'm just going to export it, all of those details here, and I'm going to export to the folder. Right. Let's hammer that out. Now, give us a few seconds. We should find the image in there. In terms of overall quality, it's, you know, it's still very good quality. And then what I would do from there, it's a very simple. Go over to here, click on share. Go to airdrop. Give us a few seconds. It will identify my phone. Fantastic. And that's now sent on my phone at 200, 602 kilobytes. So a really small file size, but it still maintains the quality, which I can now use for sending and transferring to social media. This for me becomes crucial in terms of improving my output of images and sharing with clients. It's a very simple feature, but I love it a lot because it makes my life so much easier. And hopefully you guys can start using it and make your life easier too. So do remember, if you are interested in Capture One, there's always a 30 day trial that you can use as a Sony shooter. I highly recommend it. And when you are considering making a purchase and making that leap from Lightroom or an Adobe solution, you can use the code AMBLUK at checkout and that will give you a 10% discount. Well, thanks again for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Any questions, please pop them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest news.